Confronting when we confront human trafficking, and I say this as a father to a daughter, we're confronting evil. The Birmingham Civil Rights Institute and the FBI Birmingham Division just wrapped up a two-day law enforcement civil rights conference where they addressed human trafficking all the way from Sunday and the Department of Homeland Security and what we saw with the, uh, the the blue campaign. We have heard from the tops of our government all the way down to the local level about what can be done in community to fight human trafficking, which they identify as modern day slavery. And joining me now is Stanley Ruffin. He is the supervisor special agent here at the Birmingham FBI division. I probably didn't say your title right. That's you did. Okay. So let me let's talk about why this partnership is so important community and law enforcement to fight human trafficking. Yes, uh human trafficking is a crime that um affects uh, so many people. It it um involves uh exploiting people for labor labor for services and for commercial sex. Um during the past 2 days our goal was to increase awareness to our community, to our uh, law enforcement partners, and to, um, to the nonprofit organizations. These uh, nonprofits are very instrumental in, in combating this, this heinous crime. Uh, these individuals who, uh, who work at these nonprofits, we typically will uh, call them or contact them prior to going out and arrest the subjects. Uh, once we rescue the survivors, many times these individuals will need the services for from these NPOs. So, so let me ask this because the community is watching. What is it we need to know? What is it we need to do in community to help support the effort to fight human trafficking? Well, just be vigilant. Uh, the things that we ask you to do is, is just look for things that are out of the ordinary. For in, for instance, if you have a neighbor with. Uh, eight grown men living in one house with one bedroom and they leave the house at five o'clock in the morning and return at 10, then probably that's a good indicator that that may be an indi or a, a, a labor trafficking uh, group. So there's labor trafficking, there's sex trafficking. Stan Ruffin, Birmingham Division of the FBI, thank you so much for talking with us. We're going to have much more coming up for you tonight on the newscast at 6 o'clock as we dig in a little bit more to sex trafficking. We've also heard from a mother whose daughter was trafficked in a neighboring state. That's coming up a little later at 6 o'clock.